because I'm testing out some new stuff from L'Oreal. Uh, these are their new Rouge Signature Matte Metallic Lip Stain. So I'm going to be testing these out and comparing them with the original today and tomorrow. I'm going to do one half the matte and one half metallic. Now we're moving on to the metallic. Ooh! Hi guys, welcome to Emory Lane, where my goal is to save you money by testing similar beauty products to see which one is best for you. Oh, and remind you that you are enough. Okay, in today's video, I'm super excited because I'm testing out some new stuff from L'Oreal. Uh, these are their new Rouge Signature Matte Metallic Lip Stain. Weightless, high pigmented, metallic color. So I'm going to be testing these out and comparing them with the original Rouge Liquid Lipsticks, Ink, whatever you want to call them. I swear they have different names depending on which website you're on. I got two that were closest to the ones I already own. I know that at least these two are going to be very different. So for the metallic one, I got I Stupefy. I'm going to be pinning it against I Rule. And then I also got a little bit closer matches. The, uh, I almost said magnetic. It's not magnetic. The metallic is I Magnetize and the original is I Am Worth It. I also picked up this because I was super excited. I've been looking for a lip topper to compare to Lime Crime one because it's amazing, but it's 20 bucks. And I was like, like, this looks pretty similar and I swatched all of these last night just to get an idea of what would happen today and I was like there's nothing on my hand there looks like I kind of like quickly swatched a really really light glitter eyeshadow or like shimmer eyeshadow not even glitter eyeshadow shimmer. there was nothing on there and so I was like okay and so I put it on my lips and like there's still nothing on there so I'm bummed out about that but we're still gonna test these two out so what I'm gonna do is today and tomorrow I'm gonna do one half the matte and one half metallic I'm we're going to see what happens and then if one of them needs help I'm going to put on a lip primer underneath to see if that makes a difference if they don't we'll just do two tests we'll just play it by ear I will say these you have to apply correctly in order to get the longest wear out of them so we'll see if that's the same way with these I've been dying to find a long lasting lipstick from the drugstore that is actually good that isn't matte because like all of my favorite long lasting lipsticks are matte I love matte don't get me wrong but I want some shimmer in my life every once in a while if you can tell by like my eyes so that's what we're gonna do today we will do metallic on the right matte on the left so last time I did a video of these I talked about how I found out that you have to apply one thin layer let it dry completely and then apply another and it makes it last so much longer guys I think I'm getting semi better at applying lipstick to one half of my lips semi I get lipstick on my face so I haven't put this on my lips yet I've swatched it but I haven't put it on my lips and I love this color so much it's like a um, bronzy pink oh yes it's very different but I knew it would be it wasn't I just got the closest shade and knew that I would look ridiculous but I love the look does it smell different I mean the rouge lipsticks don't have a super intense smell in the first place but like it kind of smells like <sighs> I don't know what. It kind of reminds me of something I would smell at, like Bath and Body Works. Not in a bad way necessarily. But man, I love that shine. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a full minute and then we will be back. Hold on. Okay, it's been a full minute so I'm gonna apply the second coat real quick. I have noticed that every time I only apply lipstick to half my mouth, which is becoming more common, my mouth twitches on this side that I'm doing it on. I don't know, it's because I'm trying to hold my mouth so still. Oh, that was my bad. I just got it on my teeth. I really want to compare this mouth. Hold on. This is me being me. Yeah, the, the rouge, the matte one, has like the slightest smell. Like, you have to put the wand up to your nose and like really sniff to be able to smell it. And this one, I noticed while I was applying it, just in case you're curious. <laughs> Okay, this is what we look like. I love the shine so much. This is the stuff I've been dying for. If this works out, I'm buying more because they're so good. <gasps> okay, now I'm gonna go about my day. Yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I'm back and I have some bad news. Um, this side looks basically how I thought it would. It like fades a little bit, but then I can apply a little bit more and it doesn't really bother me that much. It just fades like in the middle. This side is gone completely. I think it lasted about four hours and then it just disappeared completely. It lasted through the first meal I ate and then lunch came around and it was like, mm, we're not a big fan, we're leaving. So I guess on the third day, I'm gonna be doing lip primer to really see if that can help it. So we'll be back for round two. Okay, day two. So we've got but I am worth it versus I magnetize. And I love me a good red lip. So I'm excited to see here. Whoa! So I'm excited to see if this is any good. Starting with the matte first, if I can get the hair out of my mouth. And coat number two. Okay, I let that dry all the way down and now we're moving, I have the right one, right? Yeah. Now we're moving on to the metallic. 
Ooh. I love that. That's so pretty. Oh, I hope this lasts longer than the other one or that the primer works with it or something because this is gorgeous and I would wear this all the time. Can you see that? Like how shiny it is? Oh, I just noticed up there like a lot. I'm trying extra hard to make sure I coat the outer edges really well because that seems like it went wrong last time. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and then do a second coat and then I'll show you what everything looks like. Okay, this is what it looked like now. Everything's all coated and dry and all that stuff. And I love the metallic so much. It makes me so happy. So I'm gonna go about my day and cross my fingers that this goes better than last time. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, it's the end of the day and my hair's falling apart apparently. Okay, today went a lot better than yesterday. It's not absolutely perfect, but it looked really, really great for most of the day. I would say within the last like half an hour is when it really started to show. And I think that's because I ate like a lot of food, <laughs> but it held up so much better. And what I think it is, is today I, I took my time making sure on the first and second layer that I did, I got in every single corner and any corner or any spot that I didn't get do like as well in or didn't like focus in as much as what started wearing first. And then it kind of went from there. But this gives me hope that tomorrow when I use it with a primer and I take my time that it might be perfect crossing my fingers. We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Day three. Oh, this is two. Okay, day three. Oh, I didn't get enough sleep last night. Okay, I'm super excited to see what happens with the combination of being super particulate on applying it and the lip primer. I'm using the Maybelline Prime It Up Lip Primer. The only one that I have. I, I think I'm going to do a video soon-ish comparing all of the drugstore lip primers to see if this one's actually the best because I really like it. But if there's one better out there, I want it. Um, anyway, I'm applying that real quick. Oh, by the way, I tried the lip topper again and it like took off half my lipstick while I was applying it. I don't think it's worth it. Just FYI, I mean, you can try it if you want, but I'm not a big fan. I'm pretty sure I did matte on the left and metallic on the right, but that's what I'm gonna do today. Okay, second layer. Ah, uh, I really do love this. It's just a pretty metallic and it's a little bit more of a unique color. I will say it's kind of hard not to get on your teeth when you have to be super detailed. <laughs> not that that's a big deal, but okay. This is what we look like. I really love the metallic with my eye look, but everything feels really good. I can definitely tell that moisture of the primer is there. It's not a bad thing, but I can feel the primer. It feels different than just wearing it on its own. I can also tell that I took more time on this uh, than I did last time. So we'll see if that makes any difference with longevity. I'm crossing my fingers it does because I just want this to work so bad. I love this color so much. Okay, so I know we're not looking perfect, but it's a lot better than the first round, the first time around. As you can see, there's still color on my lips, which didn't happen the first time. Like after like four hours, I think, um, it was basically gone. Now it's been about 12 and it's not perfect, but it's still there. So is this my new favorite lipstick? No, but I really, really like it a lot and I'll definitely be using it frequently i think it's kind of picky it's when it comes to application you have to be really really diligent it's not a swipe on real quick and go and a primer definitely helps overall i think it's fun i still want to find my like metallic or my glossy or shiny lipstick that lasts all day that's like available at walmart or target if you want to check out my battle of the best red lipsticks you can click right here i love you guys so much and don't ever forget that you are enough bye